Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you the swipe beta for iOS. This is a new and improved version of the swipe that uh, we had a video on a while ago, I believe. Uh, this It's been updated with a lot more features and it works much better now. And you're going to have to add a new source to get this, so if you can see that, it's wynd.x10.mx. I'll have that down in the description, so just go to Sources in Cydia, hit Edit, hit Add, and type in the source down in the description. And when you do that, you should have this package, first one on the list out of three. It's called iSwipe, so just download and install that. And now I'm gonna be showing it off a little bit in the Notes app. So if you don't know, Swipe is a new typing system that some phones have. The iPhone, uh, it's, it's not available and it's jailbreak, obviously. And basically what it is, it's supposed to be a new, faster way of typing words. And what you do is, instead of typing each key individually, you actually uh, put your finger on the keypad and then drag around and ju stopping just at the letters that you want. And you can see uh, earlier this did not uh, make the blue line so that allows you to keep track of your path a little better. And it tries to operate on whole words rather than uh, individual letters at a time. So if you get close, it's sort of like the iPhone's predictive typing mechanism. I think it's a little bit better at, at predicting the right words. But one thing that you should know about this is it really only works well with words that uh, are in this dictionary. So you can see if I type like iPod, you can see it does it pretty well. But if I try to do a word like iPod up link, it types like ink. So that's one of the drawbacks to the predictive typing. It can't do things that are not words. Um, other than that, though, I think it's very good at predicting what word you meant to type, and it does take a little bit of getting used to, because I find myself a lot moving my thumb around to letters I don't mean to. But if you get good at it, it's a lot faster since you don't have to lift your thumb off the screen each time, and you can still use it normally. Like, you don't have to use swipe, it's just an extra feature if you want to. You can see iPod up link. So you see there, it's a lot easier uh, to type iPod up link just one at a time rather than using swipe. It also has trouble with longer words, like if I do S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E. Oh, I actually got it that time. <laughs> I'd been trying it earlier and I was having trouble with longer words, but it has a pretty quick learning curve. If you just do it a few times, you can get used to it. So I really recommend you go check this out in Cydia. It's called iSwipe for iPhone. Add the source down in the description. But that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.